Today we celebrate the first anniversary of Pope Francis, a special day for our church, a special day for our Pope. He's currently on retreat this week, um, so a special time of prayer for him and the Curia. This is a special day perhaps um, to hang up a picture of the Pope or even to, to read something the Pope has, has written. Hanging up a picture of the Pope, um, even if it's a small holy card on your refrigerator or something, but it's interesting, you know, traveling to the Holy Land at different places, you'll sometimes walk into restaurants over there and there's a big picture of the Pope um, on the wall, and so very clear that the owners are, are Catholic. In the United States, it's this attitude that we, we can't do that in our places of business because of this separation of church and state concept. Um, I think that's not the proper understanding of separation in church and state. It's fine and fair to promote and advertise and let people know that we are Catholic. Um, of course, each person has to do that at using their best judgment in their place of business, but um, I believe that Catholics should be good customers and good Catholic owners. They should be um, good service providers or good managers. Um, so letting people know that we are Catholic um, it's not to proselytize, but it's just uh, fair and healthy to let people know that we are um, good practicing Catholics um, who support and love our, our Pope. As far as reading something the Pope has written, yes, it's easy to stumble across people's opinions about the Pope, um, but I would encourage you to actually read something the Pope himself has written. And yes, you can easily find that online as well. Again, I think too often where people stumble across opinions about the Pope and read all that stuff, but are they really reading what the Pope is teaching? And too often, I am afraid to say, even good Catholics are not reading the Pope. They're reading people's opinions about the Pope, um, whether that's good or bad opinions. Um, again, I think more importantly, we need to be reading so easily accessible these days um, what the Pope himself is saying and doing. Uh, I think that's, again, even even more important. Of course, it's true, or wonderfully, that our Pope is very popular, and I think that's a good thing for our faith. It's a good thing for Catholics. Um, however, I think we also have to be a little careful falling into that, um, that just because someone's popular doesn't mean people are liking him for the right reasons. Um, for example, I think the, the liberal media in the United States, they love the guy, and they'll pick up little quotes of him but they're not telling you the whole paragraph even, or even the full story. They just snatch some little quote that fits their agenda and say, look at the, what the Pope says. Um, and I think at times that's just flat out lies and manipulation of the Pope um, or what his message. You might say conversely too, some people, um, the Pope has uh, criticized at times capitalism and therefore some people don't like him for that. And I would say the same thing to those people read the full paragraph, read the full text of what he's saying about capitalism and socialism, um, and you might be happy about what he's saying. Yes, the complexity of different economic systems and economic theories and so forth, but the main, pope, the main point I think the Pope is making is greed um, that has to be avoided, and that as Christians, as Catholics, we're trying to help people, um, and how that plays out in the banks and economic systems and so forth, um, yes, there's complexities there, but again, we have to avoid greed and we have to be willing to, to help others. So again, today, a special day for us to pray for our Pope, um, to celebrate our Catholic faith, and to continue again to, to pray and support him, our good Pope, Pope Francis.